One deal that is done, yeah. Donny, is Marcus Turam to Inter Milan, a five-year deal. They lost Jeko yes. on free, who went to Fenerbahce. They replaced him with a Frenchman. Are you are you on board? With like this? him, and I like the move. It's different because we talk about football IQ, and I think Jeko is very very underrated. For sure. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. he's had an unbelievable career. One one guy, if you're playing a midfielder up front with, you want to play with. I think he brings. He, he, he makes people like Lukaku better, yeah. Lautaro Martinez better, everyone that plays around him better, the Man City players like Aguero, all of them would probably say his football brain was was really quite superior to most. Yeah. Uh, I think with Turam coming in, obviously he's different. You know, he's not, he can, he can do the link play, but not as well as Dzeko. I think yeah, he's, he's yeah. certainly better uh, when he's going forward and yeah, getting in the box, well. fast, 100% yeah. faster. Um, so I like the signing, I like the strides that Inter are trying to make, yeah, trying, to, trying to be better from what they achieved last season. Mm. Uh, this is a controversial one. Lucas Hernandez to PSG. Why? Yeah, it's controversial, Don, because he's a Marseille born and bred guy. So he said it. Yeah, he said it. He's a Marseille fan. He kept saying, every time that someone asked him, he was like, yeah, allez Marseille, allez l'OM. His dad played for Marseille. He was born in Marseille. And the PSG were trying like, uh-uh, this is not on. We don't want you here. Nowhere near our club. Will, we, will he listen to that, you think? I don't know if he will. The club potentially will. I don't think it's enough to make that deal not happen, but I can predict a tough few weeks and months for Lucas Hernandez every time he steps on this pitch. And that's not what you want. You don't want to be booed by your own ultras. Well, I've had that. You've had, yeah, I mean. <laughs> no, I've had it twice, Jules. I left West Ham and went to Millwall. Now, for oh anyone out there that doesn't know the rivalry there, that is, that is, <laughs> yeah, that is ridiculous. Bad. But I had another one where I was and always will be a Newcastle fan. I stood yeah. on the Gallagher end all my life as a kid. Uh, and I got the chance to go back home but back home was in Durham. Oh, and I played for Sunderland. Oh. So we played at St. James's Park. Not the 2-1 win in the rain. That was the year before. Uh, and the year after when we went there, we beat them 2-1 as well. And I went to take a corner and an angry Newcastle fan chucked a little something naughty at me, yeah. like a little coin or something, yeah. hit on the back of the head. And then I scored about five minutes later. And the only thing I could think of, <gasps> what can I do to get back to that fan? <gasps> Kiss the sun and badge. <gasps> no, you didn't. Yeah, just oh. to wind the stadium and it was oh, I caused man. havoc. Well, Lucas and Londa, if you do score for PSG, don't don't say anything about Marseille. Don't think anything. This is this could potentially be Do bad. not kiss the badge. No. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.